What's good, Chaotic Nation and Invisible People? My name is Chaos, and we are back with some more Showdown Live. This is week number 11. You guys have the chance to vote on who we use. Type exclamation point vote and exclamation point suggest in the chat down below, and we will get this started. Yo, what's good? I would not mind using any of these three. Probably least likely, probably least looking forward to Zoroark, if anything. And it's probably Zoroark. Oh yeah, it's Zoroark. <laughs> Zoroark takes a nice two to vote lead crap man <sighs> that's that sad that is
if it's the way to go. Let's do this section again. All right, guys, I think I got a pretty solid team. Uh, it's valid for you, you. We got Zoroark, who's going to be our lead mon. Well, not our lead mon, but the mon we have to use this week. It's what was picked by you guys. We got Dark Pulse, Flamethrower, Taunt, and Nasty Plot. This thing is got a Sash to set up on. Um, it's going to come in as the Gengar, hopefully, if everything works correctly. So that is sort of the play. Um, I'm hoping that Nasty Plot is a thing that works. So I can actually leave with this thing, but I also cannot. So I, I, it's going to be an interesting situation for me to pick leads every game. That's going to be my big big moment at the beginning of every single game is picking the lead. So it's going to be really difficult, and I hope that I make the right choice. I got Taunt to get rid of Setup. I got Nasty Plot to set up myself to get plus two. That plus two, that plus two is going to be insanely powerful, insanely good. So like, yeah, we're going to make the Zora work very, very strong, very quickly. Um, but yeah, this is good for coverage. It's also got Flamethrower to deal with some of the fighting types that might come in on it, like um, Chestnut, which is very could be run as a very bulky set, or Cobalion, which could be run as very offensive or defensive as well. So it's going to have ways to deal with those two things just in case I need to. Um, I got Giant next up, or Mega Aggron here with Filter as its ability. I need to check to see what other ability. Do I want Sturdy or I want Rockhead? Do I want Heavy Metal? Um, see the Rock, like, I think I'm going to give it Sturdy just because, just because, but it's going to be there. But we got Mega Aggron with Heavy Slam, Earthquake, Ice Punch, and Curse. This thing can set up in front of people if it tries to run defense. Um, really, this thing loves to come in on Gligars, which are probably going to be everywhere in this tier. If I know my... UU tier very well um, So this could just set up on Gligars with uh, curse boosting that defense and attack. That's already monstrous Low sitting about 350 so that's crazy and uh, It's gonna be great and very powerful a really cool coverage mon gets rid of uh, Really threatens our fairy Pokemon that are becoming in threatens the poison types very very well So it's a really cool mon all around and filter is such a great ability lowering like having super effectiveness So it's great really cool i brought scorpio this week our gligar with eviolite and immunity i don't want this thing to get poisoned so that's why it's immunity um but it's going to be pretty much setting up on people just spreading toxic spreading rocks and using acrobatics because the idea is someone's going to use knockoff on my gligar and i want it to be useful so uh, i'm using a 110 essentially base power stab move to destroy them which is going to be awesome and great so it's going to be a tank but it also can put in the work I mean, 200 attack stat plus a 110 base move with stab, nothing to scoff at. Next up is Crystal R. Suicune. I wanted a bulkier uh, water type this week. Um, I thought about Volcanion. It might still be an option to give me just some fire type coverage, but that really throws off my electric type ness and really makes people want it. So uh, we'll, we'll see how that works. With Scald Ice Beam, Extra Sentry, and Roar, this is going to be a counter to fighting types, a counter to the dragon types flying types ground types so um, really good for coverage again to help deal with some of the weaknesses for uh, Zoroark and our and our mega Agron and also can take ice shots for the for um, Gligar so it's just a really cool mon just to be tanky and just sit in the back um, but I have it run pseudo defensive pseudo offensive so it's a bulky special sweeper meaning it's gonna be very very good HP stat and also very good attacks, so it's going to be just running through things, hopefully. Um, we got Thundercat, our Zor Zero Aura. This thing is primarily here for Volt Absorb. It gives me another way to deal with coverage. They're going to be trying to use probably their own Zero Aura on my Suicune, so this is a way to deal with that. Also, I do not want to deal with like an Ice Punch or something. I think you get Ice Punch. Do you get Ice Punch? I think you get Ice Punch. No, you don't. I don't want to deal with like any random ice shenanigans or things from Zero Aura on uh, a Gligar, so I run my own Zero Aura to counter it. Uh, Plasma Fist, Drain Punch, Knock Off, and Grass Knot. Typical set. A little bit of a mixed attacker, but Grass Knot's really just there for coverage. And that's just in case ground types come in, so that's really the only thing it's there for. And next, and finally, not least, is our Gengar. With uh, Assault Vest, Cursed Body, Shadow Ball, Sludge Bomb, Thunderbolt, and Clear Smog. Um, this, as I said, is going to be the way... This is going to be my lead most of the time. People are going to think the Zero War is coming in as the Gengar anyway. So, if I throw up the Gengar, they try to use a Fighting type move. It's going to be blocked because obviously we're a Ghost type. So, nothing really... Some really sketchy stuff with uh, this set this week. And it's going to be crazy. Um, 
I'm running Assault Vest because I have a full offensive set with Shadow Ball, Sludge Bomb, Thunderbolt, and Clear Smog. Gives me good coverage, also good stab options, and Clear Smog is there just in case, like, the Mega Altari is going to try to Dragon Dance in my face. So, that's a way to, to check it a bit and get rid of it, so... That is, that's the squad. That's how we're going to be running. Gengar does not have a nickname because Gengar or Zoroark do not have nicknames because that way it's easier to disguise the Zoroark as the Gengar and people don't have to be like, oh, hey, this has a nickname. And yeah. So I really should be running no nicknames, but I want to have nicknames on my squad because, you know, they're fun and cool. But if it turns out to be an issue, I'll probably just turn them all off. So let's get into the matches. Let's see how these work. Again, it is a valid team for week 11. And let's see what we got, friends. Hopefully we get some good matches. I don't want the Infernate. Uh, hopefully we get some good matches. And hopefully I have made a pretty solid team. I think I did, but I'm not 100% sure on some of them slots. I'm not sure about that Zero Aura slot. I'm not sure about that Suicune slot. The rest of them I feel pretty good about. Okay, so. Um, Amoongus and Empoleon are pains in the butt. They have an Evio Lights, Manectric, Mega, Aerodactyl, Trent. This is a sand team. This is 100% a sand team. Um, so, Zero, so Z Zoroark's actually going to be really good for this. Um, and so is Zero Aura, actually. So, I'm actually going to lead the Gengar. I'm predicting the Hippowdon lead, actually. I really don't have a way to deal with it. Actually, I'm going to lead Crystal. Um, how will you start the battle, Crystal? What about the rest of my team? I want to bring all of them. Oh, I have to pick the the order since I have a Zoroark. So I do want uh, the Gengar. So I can... You can think I'm actually bringing in the Suicune right now. But the pressure ability gives that away. So if you're smart, you realize that I have pressure. And you realize that I'm actually the Suicune. That's the thing about pressure that sucks. So I don't know if I want... This is one of the reasons why I'm not sure about Suicune. Because pressure. Yeah, I bet a lot of you didn't think of that, but yeah, pressure is actually going to be really weird because they know this is, so they, they don't, do they know it's my Suicune or not? That's the question. But you are actually slower than me. Actually, you could be faster. Um, I kind of want to switch in my Zero Aura just because it has a good matchup right here. I do see a knockoff, no, not a knockoff. I see a Volt Switch coming, which would be really good to block. So I'm going to bring in the Zero Aura. There's the Volt Switch. That's exactly what I wanted to see. Okay. I'm not I'm not playing Cheeky yet. Uh, I kind of want to knock off. Because I think you're going to hard switch. Because I doubt you let me just... Um, I doubt you let me just stay in here. So I'm going to knock off. Predict you to switch out. If you stay in, very smart. If you're not, I, I don't see you staying in. Yeah, that's exactly what I want to see. Hit Pout on. Get rid of that item. Lowering your your turns. I can Grass Knot here. I kind of want to save you. Because you're going to be so good against the Empoleon. But I also just want to dent this thing. So I think... Because you don't really have a switch into Suicune right now. Um, besides the Empoleon. So I kind of want to set up Rocks. And I can't... Actually, I'm going to get bring in Gliscor. I mean Gligar. So the Stealth Rocks are there. That's going to be something we have to deal with every single time. I think you go Empoleon, so I'm not going to try to set up in your face. I'm just going to Stealth Rock, uh, make the right play. We're going to see that Empoleon with Ice Beam. That's what I want to see. That's. I mean, I really don't want to see that, but that's what I expect. All right, you stay in. You whirlwind me out, so that's your play. So my Suicune comes back in. That's actually the best switch I could possibly ask for. And I should. we should see the... Um, I would expect to see the Empoleon right now. So I am going to Scald because I don't want to over predict. There is a possibility that this Hippowdon stays in. Um, thinking it's faster than me. Which it could possibly be if it's max speed. So I'm not going to over predict. I'm just going to play it. There's the Stoutland. Please give me the burn. That would be love early. It's a very weak Stoutland. It's going to take damage. Actually, it has Sand Rush. So it's going to be faster than me. It's going to be super fast. Um, I could see a Thunder. Uh, I kind of want to jump into Zero Aura, but I also don't. Um, a normal type move could be just a, a sure play. I kind of want to bring in Gengar, but then again, I don't know. 
Uh, I think I'm gonna... Grass Knot also could be a play. I'm gonna leak, switch to Zeraora. I think that's the play. I should have done Garuda. I should have done, um... Done Gengar, so we'll see. I kinda... What do you want to do to me? You're going to crunch me. I kind of want... I'm going to throw in the Zoroark. I'm going to throw in the Zoroark here. And I'll tell you why. So my Sash is gone. Obviously, that's not going to matter too much. And I'm just going to Dark Pulse. Yeah, I think I'm going to turn the, the names off. Okay. Okay. I don't know what you do. Um, kind of want to taunt. I'm going to taunt you because I think you're going to try whirlwind. I'm going to taunt you. <laughs> you are such a easy mon to read. You are such an easy mon to read. I'm going to um, dark pulse just to do some damage. What do you got? Flinch, bruh. Flinch actually kind of mattered there. It keeps them under the illusion that I still have Gengar out. Yeah, so this Zoroark setup, man, is crazy. This Zoroark setup is going to be crazy right now. So what comes in right now? Um, the Statlin doesn't know if I'm a Zoroark or not. Um, the Statlin comes in. So do you think I'm a Zoroark or do you think I'm the Gengar? That's my question to you. I'm going to Dark Pulse and see what you want to do. Or how about you just die because you're not Sand Rushed anymore because I'm forehead and didn't think about that. Yeah, Zoroark just puts in work. And this is also why you don't need Nasty Plot, because Zoroark just works magic. It's so powerful. Um, your best play is probably the Empoleon. Magneton. Volt Switch, probably, going to be the play. Uh, I find it hard to be anything else. But your only switch in really is the Aerodactyl. And I don't see you doing that. I'm going to Flamethrower and hope for Burn, if anything. So we should see the Volt Switch right now. That's fine. Actually, we are, yeah. We we see the he he sees the Zoroark now, but he loses his Magneton in the process. So Zoroark's actually done its job. There's nothing else I really want this thing to do. Um, I think at this point we just go we just run through with uh, Agron. I really think Agron just Agron just looks so good right now. So it's still at max health, so it's just gonna it's just gonna go ham. Um, yeah. I think we got a good set. I just want to change the names so they're not showing up. So there's an Amoongus. Um, you're toxic. So what are you going to try? Protect? I could taunt in your face. I kind of like that play because it lets you not set up in my face. So I'm actually going to taunt you. I'm seeing... I could see a spore. There's a sludge bomb. That's fine. I want you out of here. Now how do I beat this thing? That's a very good question. I don't actually have a solution for that. Uh, yeah, this is something I need to be prepping for a little bit more. I can bring in the giant. I don't think that's the play, though. I think I bring in Scorpio right now. I think I bring in Scorpio. I'll tell you why. Because I don't want to throw away this game super fast. So I'm going to Acrobatics. You're probably going to switch Aerodactyl. Do I double? I can make the cheeky double here. I don't think I want to make that play, though. I don't know. I'm going to Acrobatics. I'm not going to make the double thought about it I'm not going to I don't want to I don't want this Amoongus just to bot me so I, I'm bringing it but I don't want the Aerodactyl to switch in either so it, I'm at a this is a bad 50-50 shot I actually that's actually not great we got knockoff and pulley on I don't um yeah I'm gonna roar it out I'm gonna try the Suicune so I still think Scorpio is usable. I don't think the Suicune is. Yeah, I should have just stayed in, predicting that, but I didn't because I'm a forehead. But what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to roar this out. So if he switches, good for me. If he doesn't switch, good for me. I, I don't lose this situation. So I think I just let Crystal sit here in this game. Um, I let Toxic take me out. There's nothing really else I want you to do besides maybe fight that Aerodactyl, but the plan is trying to get it in. So that's what I'm going to be trying to do. Um, I can roar you out too, but I also just I can Ice Beam or I can Extra Sensory. Um, I think I Extra Sensory, predicting another switch. Maybe you go back out. And, no, Flinch, 
flinch, flinch axe. It has a jack button. It has a jack button. Dude, what the? <laughs> Well, in the world is set. Empoleon comes back in. All right, that's fine. I'm going to roar you out again. Ch get chipped. That's all I want you to do. I'm chipping this Empoleon down. Because the Empoleon is the only way he wins right now. So there's... Oh, I get it. I get the play. Eject button. Eject button Foongit. Amoongus. So you get the uh, boost back with your um, flinch. Yes. I'm toxic, you stupid forehead. So... Eject button flinch, but you get eject button so that way you switch out and you get your HP back. That's what he's trying to do. And so now he's just stalling me out. And I should have realized that easy earlier, but I do want this thing to go down. So now, now how do I win? I can't, I'm going to bring in Gengar actually. I'm going to actually bring in the actual Gengar this time. Because there's really nothing you want to do to me. I'm just going to T-Bolt. I kind of want a Sludge Bomb predicting the Amoongus coming back in, but I think I just T-Bolt. I'm going to T-Bolt. It could get para, which is interesting. So Gengar actually looks really solid too. Like my Mons that are off look solid. Besides the the Gligar's not really useful against um, the Aerodactyl or the Empoleon, but um, Gengar and Mega Agron just go ham right now. Nice, good job, Tui. Yeah, I think yeah, Gengar and. Agron go ham. This is a good match. This is like a solid match. 22 turns and we're still 3 mons each. Alright, Para. Nope, there's a Roar. Alright, that's fine. Not really what I want us to see at this point in the game, but fine. So my thing is, I I could, I kind of want to keep rocks. Hmm. How do I play this? So, my idea is that you're going to Roar me out. You could also just Scald me. Am I gonna die if I take? I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna mega earthquake. There's a toxic, perfect play, played to perfection. I was afraid of the roar more than the toxic. The toxic is just stupid. This guy doesn't know how to play, because <laughs> toxic does not affect steel types, poison types. Like you would not toxic any of my team members right now. So there's the aerodactyl. That's what I, I'm a little worried to see. Earthquake is gonna be a big bomb on my squad, but I do have heavy slam. I'm gonna try it. I think we live one. If we don't, it's not the end of the world. You try to pursuit trap me like a fool. But yeah, I don't lose anything by staying at, by switching out there. I mean, tough claws, earthquake is pain in the butt, but I there's no reason for me to do it. So I'm just gonna EQ, hope that kills. It should 50% on a Moongus. Not a whole lot of health, but it might live this. It does actually pretty well. Hidden power what? Hidden power fire, and you're dead. So that was a good match. GG's man, that was a that team was tough. Any other opponent might have beat me. Works. So I'm gonna. Uh, why did you do that, Tui? Why did you time? Why did you do that? Uh, I'm gonna leave the Zero Aura. I want it to look like the Gengar. So my thing is, he leads. He leads the the. Um, this, he leads the Agron. That's not exactly what I want to see. So I think I 110% just switch. Right now? There's the Stealth Rock, that's fine. I'm gonna scald you in the face. Do you undo it? Undo it. I'm gonna pre knock off the mm. Hmm. Why won't do right now? Could bring my own. Yeah, I think I won 1v1 right now. So I'm gonna bring in Zero Aura v Zero Aura. There's the Volt Switch, perfect play. Chaos, like a god playing right now. Um, what comes in? What comes in? Really, you just stay in? You switch out? You maybe bring in the Ditto. I can see the Ditto. I'm gonna, just, I'm gonna knock off. All right, that's not what I wanna see, but hey. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna get my Gligar up. I wanna get Rocks up, cause you're just gonna sit here and switch on me. So if I don't, that's perfect. It's not what I was intending, but it's perfect. So I'm just going to get Stealth Rocks up. You're going to probably Ice Punch me, which is not really what I want to see. I'm frozen. So, um, you've done your job. I'm going to Roost just in the off shot. Yeah. Nice. Uh, I'm going to Roost in the off shot. That I 
don't live. So, Earth, you really don't do anything to my Suicune right now. You really don't. And I just lower your... Yeah, I'm gonna Scald. Scald burn. Scald burn. I could predict the Zero Aura. That's a Skeptile. That's fine. It's actually a Sceptile, guys. I know, I know what I'm saying. Uh, Sceptile is gonna outspeed me. And I really don't like that. And it's probably gonna use a Grass type. Which I really don't like either. I'm gonna go... Hmm. I don't know if Gengar can live a grass move. I don't think he can, but I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it. Let's do it. Now, now I come in as a Zero Aura. Okay. We actually live a Leaf Storm. That's crazy. That is real crazy. Um, I don't Sludge Bomb or I'm gonna actually Shadow Ball. I think we still kill a Shadow Ball, but I definitely see the Aggro coming in. We don't kill a Shadow Ball, so I should have used the Poison move. That's fine. Disabled. Earthquake's disabled. Um, that's not good. So Suicune's actually last. We don't not speed you though. I'm gonna bring Earthquake disabled. I have a hard time seeing what you do to my Aggron right now. So Dragon Tail, question mark, maybe could be the play, but I'm gonna just this Sceptile, I could curse it. So it can't come back in, so it's going to just hit me. I'm going to Ice Punch. I'm going to curse and then Ice Punch. Yeah. We're going to tank that. So get my, get my Aggron plus one. I think we bop everything. Oh, the Ditto, though. The Ditto is not fun. And I don't have... Oh, this is a bad, 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 bad situation. Bad situation right now. Cause I can't take you out. You leaf storm me in the face multiple times. I'm gonna actually switch to Zoroark. I'm gonna switch to Zoroark, which is my sweet coon. You're gonna see the Dragon Pulse, which is absolutely fine, cause I wanted Zoroark to be shown. And now, instead of being a numpty, like I was going to be, and letting the Septot, and letting my setup just let the Ditto win, I'm gonna actually set up myself. I'm gonna get the Crobat to come in right now, which is gonna outspeed me and kill me. So that's gonna be fine, sadly. I gotta let this thing go down. Um, off chance, Dark Pulse. Yeah, it just goes down. Um, Zero Aura comes in. No, it doesn't because you know what? Another Zero Aura comes in. <laughs> like Zero Aura is such a pain in the butt. <laughs> all right, all right. So I can make big boy plays and throw my Articuno in, not my Articuno, throw my Suicune in to fight this thing and take a shot. I can um, switch in Zara Aura and try not to die with, yeah, I'm gonna switch to I'm just gonna go Suicune. I'm gonna, I could, I could roar it. I'm gonna Ice Beam this time. I'm gonna Ice Beam, just do damage. There's a U-turn. Anything but the Zero Aura would be lovely, or the, actually the Ditto would suck too. Anything but Zero Aura or Ditto. There is the Aggron. That is exactly what I don't want to see. Either. Freeze hacks. Nope. No freeze hacks. Alright, we just roar you out because I don't want to deal with you. You are faster than me it's somehow in this world. A max speed Aggron, dude. There's Crobat coming back in. I'm going to Scald this turn. There's Defog, which is not what I wanted to see. But I get the burn. Nope, I don't. I don't get burned. There's nice beam, just gonna hit you. 31, that's fine. You're trying to roost up. Mm hmm. I'm gonna uh, actually extra sensor your face. That's fine. That's fine. Now, I'm gonna try to get the burn. There's the U turn, that's exactly what I expect. We're gonna see the uh, CAC turn come in right now. I would expect to see CAC turn. There's Aggron again. What the heck? Burn, please. I'm just gonna scald. I have no reason not to. Speed tie, actually, with 206. Well, that's exactly what I needed to get the Agron gone. So we can Zero Aura here. Zero Aura v Zero Aura. Could be the issue. Yeah, let's Zero Aura or Zero Aura. And you close combat. Ouch. That is a lot, my friend. That is a lot, but I'm gonna drain punch your face. Try to get HP back. Crow back comes in. You're smart. You're you're a smart guy. We see that. You know what? I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna even take the chance. I'm gonna just take it out. You know. I'm playing ballsy right now. You're gonna deal with it. 
The Ditto still is in the back, and I don't like that. There's the Ditto. It's it's gonna look at my set. That's what he's trying to do. I'm a knock off. Uh -huh. We take. I think we take a knock off. So I'm a knock off. There's a knock off for him. I will take this trade. Get rid of your scarf. And I'm gonna drain punch in the off chance. We we don't we go first. We don't. So he's now stuck. He's gonna outspeed me though. So what do you do here? I literally click earthquake. I have no reason not to click earthquake right now. Besides the fact. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna click. Actually, I'm gonna click curse. There's a drain punch. Oh, that's fine, dude. That's fine. Earthquake now. Plus one is what I wanted to have because I do damage to everything. Zero Aura is gonna be sacked. He's gonna try to get his Ditto back in. Yep, with my boost. And I'm gonna actually. Uh, I think I curse up again. I kind of want to curse up again. But I don't know if we live a shot here. Um, and we're gonna be slower. I got an earthquake. 28, 24, it's going to be close, it's going to be a real close match, but Suicune has to be able to clean. Can Suicune clean right now, that's the question. Can Suicune clean, I don't know. The answer to that question is, I don't know, I don't think so. Oh wow, you mega misplay, holy cow that's a good match, GG's man, GG. So I hate Ditto, because it's so stupid to play around. So stupid to play around. And I don't have my Protect uh, High Jump Kick set. <laughs> I don't have my Protect High Jump Kick set, which I really love to do. So, um, I think that's a solid squad. I don't really have any other ideas to do anything with it. And I think if any battle was going to test us, that was going to be the one. So, I think the squad is good. Um, the only issue is the uber defensive team. That is going to be a pain in the butt. But this is a this is a pretty offensive squad, I would say. Um, I don't know how the Sceptile's built, but it's, it seems pretty offensive. The defensive squad is probably a little bit more challenging to deal with. Uh, Mega Agron's a pain in the butt, but you literally just roar it out multiple times with Suicune. Because if it tries to curse, Suicune's going to win. So, I think this is the set. I think this is the team. So, let's take a look at this team one last time. And it's pretty nice. Uh, the only thing we changed was a move on the gank. Was a... Uh, was a was the names and the uh, item on the Gengar, so I think we'd have a pretty good set. So we got Zoroark, our Pokemon we have to build around this week. Also, we changed the Shining, that's what we changed. So, um, it's a very fast physical, very fast special sweeper. This thing has a Sash just to live a shot, Nasty Plot to boost up, Taunt to get rid of. Uh, since it'll be faster, it's going to outspeed most of the things they're going to try to set up. Um, either Sticky Web or Stealth Rock, or uh, just try to set up themselves, so Zoroark's going to do well blocking those um the focus sash gives it two lives essentially and unless they have like bullet punch or mock punch or uh shadow sneak or something uh, or sucker punch like any priority move is going to be a pain in the butt for this thing but it can set up it can do that very well it can dark pulse flinch it can flamethrower burn things so this thing can spread a lot of goodness around this team to help out like burns on physical attackers um it's a way to deal with mega agron Definitely way to deal with Mega Agron, you just nasty plot. You can do a nasty plot once and then flamethrower, try to burn. Uh, I don't know <laughs> otherwise, but it, it has a lot of potential to do a lot of different things. And the very the very good trick with this team in the set is to make sure that you use your Zoroark wisely. Remember you have that illusion ability. So whatever the last mon in your team is, that's what your Zoroark's gonna transform to. So the Gengar makes sense to put there, but it's not always the right choice to lead with the Zoroark. You gotta remember that sometimes people read that and they think your Zoroark is the first mon on the field. Don't do that. That's just that's a way to throw away your Zoroark. So just don't do that. Because they're gonna think it's a Zoroark, they're gonna try to use a fighting move or something like that. And it's gonna miss on the Gengar, so that, that's perfectly fine with me. Um, next up is Mega Agron. This thing is an absolute tank. It 1v1s itself, as we've seen in that last match. Um, Curse is a great way to set up on itself. Um, it's a your primary counter to Mega Agron is itself. Just make sure you have more HP or you are set up a little bit more than the other one because you just get an extra move off in that case. Um, Sturdy has a good, uh, just 
Like, there's really no good ability for Agron that would help out in the first turn, but Sturdy's okay, just in case, like, some some read happens and you die, so. It, it's a way to keep your Agron around for a turn, but it's probably not useful. Uh, what else we got? Uh, max attack, not max attack, max, almost max HP, max special defense, just because it's going to be bulky, and a little bit of attack with an adamant nature boosting the attack stat. So we're hitting about 350 in attack, uh, three, almost 350 in HP, so this thing is very bulky, very powerful. Very good team. Uh, very good mon. Thank you for the good team, too. I appreciate that. Gligar is next. Another defensive mon here. Toxic is nice to spread around here. This is a very powerful mon, despite it being a very weak mon, if you get what I'm saying. Um, its defenses are really good, especially its defense stat sitting at uh, 252 plus with Impish Nature gives it almost 350, which is incredible. Um, maxed out HP, almost 350 as well, so it's very tanky as well. You got two very tanky mons. Uh, I don't really think you could try to throw special instead of defense, but I think the the def I think that um, running more defensive is going to be your go-to because if they get, knock off Eviolite, it's not going to matter. Ice beams are just going to kill you anyway. So, um, I mean, you could try that, but I don't know. It's up to you which defense stat you want to boost, but definitely boost one of them. Put the rest in HP and then a little bit in attack. I'm running Acrobatics, that's the move, because it is stab, it's 110 base power with the Evil like knocked off, which is primary the play against this thing. It has immunity to stop Toxic, which is a way to stall out um, bulky mons, so you have three bulky mons on this team and two of them are immune to Toxic, so that's really good. And uh, Stealth Rocks just to get some, some chip damage on things coming in, it really works well with the Suicune set, so these two mons pair uber well together as a good defensive core. And Roost, and obviously, to just boost up its HP after taking a couple of shots. Since this thing is very defensive, it can just Roost stall people with Toxic. So, as long as it's not a Steel type. Steel types kind of wall this thing, but you have other coverage for that. Next up, we got Sweet Coon uh, with Leftovers and Pressure. I don't know how I feel about the ability. It kind of stops the Zora work from being seen. So, like, um, you might want to throw Inner Focus on instead. That could be a thing. Throw Inner Focus instead of, uh, you know. I probably would recommend inner focus though. Yeah, I would recommend inner focus instead of pressure. Pressure is nice when you're trying to stall, but with the Zoroark team, inner focus is gonna make more sense since pressure pops up on the screen when it, Pokemon has it. So um, if you have inner focus, they could think it's the Zoroark and they try to hit you with something and you just bob them back with like an extra sensory or something. So, so we can be really cool there. Leftovers for recovery since it is very bulky, max HP, max Special attack, uh, so pseudo bulky, it's a bulky special sweeper. And uh, Scald Ice Beam, extra sensory, Scald and Ice Beam, um, Scald good stab move, Ice Beam for coverage, special for like Gligars, and uh, other flying types. Extra sensory for fighting types, and poison types, and you have Roar just to switch out things like, um, if something sets up like a Maga Aggron, you can Roar it out, and it works that way, it's really cool. Next up is Zera Aura, which is fun. I actually had fun using it this week. Um, first time I've used a Zera Aura, fun fact, was this team, so it's interesting to see it. Plasma Fist, a good stab move. Drain Punch as coverage, just to get HP back. Knock off, of course, just to chip off things. And Grass Knot as coverage for ground types. So, very cool, interesting set. Assault Vest to boost its special defense. It might be able to live a couple shots because of that. But it is max speed and it is max attack. Very offensive mod, just trying to do some work on the field. And last but not least, the best ghost type in this tier, Gengar, coming this week with Shadow Ball, Sludge Bomb, Thunderbolt, and Clear Smog. I recommend running Clear Smog, as this tier likes a lot of setup mods. So, you can Clear Smog anything that's not a Steel type, and you can get rid of its stats. So, Shadow Ball and Sludge Bomb obviously stab moves, Clear Smog get rid of st setup, and Thunderbolt for coverage on like water types and uh, flying types, those kinds of things. It's just a good coverage move to have. For this thing, again, very, very offensive, but max speed, max its special attack, a little bit of defense bulk, and I decided to Choice Scarf my Gengar. Um, I did have an Assault Vest set, but Choice Scarf Gengar, it just does a lot of work. It's very powerful, it's very fast, really nothing can touch it. Um, it might actually be fine if you just want to use uh, no speed investment and make it kind of bulky with HP. That could try to be a, th a tech. I don't know exactly. If you want to try that, feel free to let me know how it works for you in the comment section down below. But that is the team for week number 11 of Pokemon Showdown Live. Thank you guys for coming out in the chat 
and being here um, I'm going to wrap up this video though so thank you guys so much for watching and um, I'm hoping that you guys use this team as either a starting point for building a team in UVU as or as a um, as just a cool team that you want to run or try out yourself so there it is for you but I want to thank you guys for watching I want to thank you for being here and enjoying this on Invisible Corporations. Make sure you hit that subscribe button on Invisible Corporations. If you're in the live chat, exclamation point IC, check it out. We are running the uh, Invisible Corporations Mario Kart League. If you're watching this as the time of, at, as the stream, if you're watching this upload, it happened like, you know, months ago. So uh, I'm sorry about that. But uh, hopefully you can join it next time we do it. If you want, if you like to see it, you know, tell to it and you might make more. Uh, but that's the team. That's going to be fun. And I will see you guys. Uh, very soon for some more content from me uh, Thank you for watching and make sure you hit that like button make sure you hit that subscribe button with notification bell on and Check out the team in the description down below. I'll see you next time So until then my name is chaos, and I'm signing off stay safe and as always Bring it up